rotation is just a little bit farther um, and it takes about an hour to drive there um, especially during uh, rush hours so I decided I'm just going to use the public transportation because it takes the same amount of time and I get to sleep but I'm going to show you what my week looks like on emergency medicine <laughs> munching on these so uh, my shift this morning is from 7 a.m. until 5 p.m. Um, I'm working with an attending that I worked with before so we're having fun seeing lots of patients so today I've seen like around six patients so far um, one had possible cellulitis or osteomyelitis. He, his leg definitely looked infected. And then the next patient was a um, heart attack workup. So he came in with chest pain that's radiating to the right arm, which is kind of strange. So we're working him up for that. I saw another patient with some rib pain because he fell and so working him up for that. And then we had another interesting patient who came in and had bilateral numbness of his lower extremity. So we are working him up on that. He had some very peculiar symptoms. So it's kind of cool just talking to patients, um, actually being able to tell them some of the management and like stuff that we have to check for. <sighs> Fourth year is, is great, honestly. Um, I really feel confident in talking to patients and finding differential diagnoses. So for EM rotations, they usually do it in shifts. We sign up for a number of shifts depending on um, how many hours you're supposed to work a week or how many shifts you need to take. And EM rotations are usually done in like varying times. So like I've done a night shift already and they have early morning shift, which was what I'm doing today. And then they have mid morning shifts, mid afternoon. But yeah, I really enjoy uh, emergency medicine so far. It's just rolling out very high risk, emergent, dangerous situations. And then everything else, just have to stratify what's most important and then what they need to go outpatient for or what kind of care they need to get directed to. So it's kind of fun. In between patients, I just have TrueLearn pulled up on my computer and I've been studying for the um, emergency medicine pull mat or shelf. It's my last shelf of my entire medical school career. <laughs> so I basically been very bad at studying, honestly, but I'm going to ramp it up this following week because I'm taking it on Friday. and. I'm a little bit worried because a lot of information that I have learned over the years is slowly um, trickling out of my brain. Uh, <laughs> a 
like every time an attending asks me a question it's like extra hard and difficult for me to come up with the proper like name for something dessert <laughs> chips and cuties officially done for the day i'm going to take the rail system back home and study eat dinner and uh, just catch up on a bunch of stuff <laughs> So today's my day off. Um, I have one more shift tomorrow and then I have my emergency shelf. So I'm going to spend the day cleaning and studying. Some therapeutic time lapse of me cleaning my room. Okay. <laughs> There's other really great resources to use for emergency medicine, um, like Rosh Review, but you have to pay for that. Uh, there's not really any video resources that I found, like on my med ed or YouTube. I've been listening to the EM Clerkship, which is a really great podcast for EM topics. So yeah, I think, I think I'll be fine. <laughs> It's fourth year, I'm just gonna try my best to pass it and be done with all my cores. Good morning everybody. So today I have a 11 to 9 p.m. shift. Um, it's my last shift at the ED. Um, I'm working with one of my favorite physicians. Um, that always lets me out early. <laughs> so hopefully it's not gonna be until 9 p.m. I really doubt it. She lets me go home at like around 5 p.m. So that's gonna be a short shift um, and I'm gonna spend the rest of the day studying. I wanted to share with you guys something. I've had many male and female physicians um, that were my attending. They were all really good role models to me, great teachers. Um, but this ED attending is the only uh, female that has ever kind of reached out to me and talked to me about female things in um, the, the medical industry. So like she reached out to me and talked to me about salary and what it's like being a woman in medicine. And that just really resonated with me because even though I've had 
other female role models in the field, um, they were kind of very professional and just talked a lot about my education. Um, but she really reached out to me and talked to me about life. And I really appreciate that because I didn't know that that was something that was missing for me. And I'm really grateful that she did that because it allowed me to open up to her more about some of my worries and um, kind of struggles in the field so far. And so I really appreciate that. And that's why I'm excited that uh, my last shift is going to be with her. So um, very happy uh, going to work today. <laughs> I just finished my emergency cold mat. <laughs> it was uh, a little bit more confusing <laughs> than I thought, um, as expected, because I didn't really study that much for it. Um, I have major senioritis, um, but the test was a little bit tricky, and also I was getting confused at like what I would do in clinical management versus how they want it answered on the test but it's fine it's over you know this is my last test of fourth year I'm done and I'm just happy that I got to share it with y'all so if you guys have any questions please um, reach out to me um, about rotations or about med school anything like that um, I really like the EM rotation because I learned a lot of things. Um, I got to do a lot of procedures, um, a lot, got to do some suturings, um, some wound care, um, ultrasound, um, all of that. So that was really fun and I just really loved all the attendings that I had. Uh, the ED is definitely like a little very welcoming place honestly and so I really got to know the nurses and the staff so I really enjoyed it and so I hope that um, this vlog was helpful to letting you see what uh, emergency medicine is like and if you haven't already please subscribe um, I'm getting ready to enter residency and I'm very excited to share that journey with you as well